The topic of this video is graphing functions from the library of functions. Graph the cube function, f of x equals x cubed. Okay, let's look at our diagram. x is the original input, it goes into a machine named f, and after following the instructions, what comes out is x cubed. So, x goes into a machine named f. The instructions just say, cube it. So when x comes in and you cube it, what comes out is x cubed. So the thing that comes out, which is f of x, is x cubed. f of x equals x cubed. All right, so let's uh, try some values of x to plug in and see what y is. We know that f of x is the same thing as y, so another way to write this equation would be y equals x cubed. If x equals negative 2, then y equals negative 2 cubed. Notice x is being replaced by something new, and because it has an exponent, parentheses are necessary. So, negative 2 cubed. Well, an odd number of negatives makes a negative, and 2 cubed is 8. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. So we get negative 8. All right, if x equals negative 1, then y equals negative 1 cubed, which is negative 1. 0 cubed is 0, 1 cubed is 1, 2 cubed is 8. All right, let's make our graph. So the biggest and largest x's and y's, uh, x's go from negative 2 to 2, y's go from negative 8 to 8. So if we just create a blank grid that goes from negative 10 to 10 in all directions, all of our points will fit. And so let's do that. So we're going to say that this is 10 up here, which means this is 5. So that would be 1, 2, 3, and 4, 6, 7, 8, and 9. This is negative 10 over here. So this is negative 5, negative 9, negative 8, negative 7, negative 6, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1. This is 10 out here. This is 5 over here, which makes this 1, 2, 3, and 4, 6, 7, 8, and 9. This is negative 10 down here. This is negative 5. So we get negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 6, negative 7, negative 8, negative 9. All right, now there's places for all of our points to go. We'll label this with an x and a y and plot our points. All right, here we go. So negative 2, negative 8. So it's 2 to the left, 8 down, which would be here. Negative 1, negative 1, which is here, 0, 0. 1, 1, and 2, 8. And then we connect the dots. Notice this is not a line. It's a curve, so I'm not using a straight edge. You only use a straight edge for lines, line segments, and rays. This is a curve, no straight edge. And that is our graph. That is what the cube function looks like.